Hey, what's up everybody? It's Knight Rider here coming at you on the 904 Supercar YouTube channel. And this is a retake of an impressions of the Logitech G920 racing wheel and shifter set. I tried to shoot a really cool POV angle from behind my chair, but it really didn't work out. So we're going to go about it this way. And I'm driving Willow Springs basically because that's not too, that's actually somewhere I could reasonably go. Like, I, I could reasonably get to Willow Springs without too much terrible difficulty. Um, the last car that I drove around here was the Camaro. Or, not the Camaro, but the Firebird. There I go, I'm about, probably about to get crucified for that one. It's the freaking Firebird. But, anywho... It's not about the car, it's about the wheel and how my my impressions on the wheel. And um, so let me go ahead and go to just grid start. So as you can tell, this is the, G, the G29, which is the PlayStation equivalent of it of the logitech racing wheels and then with this i had the g920 uh shifter set so they're both intercompatible even though this is the playstation wheel and the pc shifter and pedal set so but overall it's got a pretty good amount of force feedback it has up to 900 degrees of rotation and it's i'm not an expert at driving in real life i've i have like zero hours of real life driving experience but um this feels very natural and it's pretty smooth, even though, as I sit here, even though I have little to no, exp I have no experience driving manual, it still shifts incredibly smooth, and there's a good amount of force feedback, too, like, if you go over bumps, or, like, the force feedback is pretty smooth, it's, it's unexpectedly strong. Oh, so reverse lockout is you got to push down and go to the right and then slowly let out the clutch. Or just sit here and give it a little bit of throttle and then back up in the first. I'm also kind of using a chair that's on wheels, so pardon the moving around. I got to get a rug so that I can set my chair up properly. Oh my goodness, I am terrible at obviously not good at letting the clutch out, throttle in. Okay, I didn't mean to pop the clutch like that, but I'm kind of rolling around and having to fight with my chair and everything. But it overall, it shifts really good. You can, it's really smooth. It's a lot of fun to learn to drive, especially if you've never driven manual before. It's a lot of fun. I do wish the brakes, and, and it's such a stupidly nitpicky thing. I do wish the brakes actually had a like some kind of rumble feedback to where you could physically feel ABS. Because sometimes, because the brake pedal really doesn't travel as far as you would think that it should. 
So sometimes you could be putting a little bit more braking than you really kind of mean to. So I wish there was some sort of ABS feedback. And overall, other than that, overall it's a pretty good wheel. It's got leather, it's leather wrapped and also it's got a leather wrapped shifter. All in all, for something, yeah, it's a couple of year old wheel. It came out like kind of back in the day towards when the PS4 very first came out. But, so it is a little bit of an older wheel, but overall, it's a really good for like beginners. Oh, see, I didn't put the clutch in properly and I missed the shift. I promise you I'm a better driver than what I'm driving at the moment. I'm just doing an impression of the wheel. But yeah, definitely I'd recommend it. It does get my only one other than the braking thing. The one other issue that I can think of with it is that it does get a little bit warm. Like, the back of it here does, after, like, maybe 30 minutes to an hour or so, it does kind of warm up a little bit. But, I mean, other than that, it's perfect for beginners. And if you're somehow able to hit the console lottery and get your hands on a PS5, it's also perfect for that. Because that's what I did. I got it for Gran Turismo 7 when it comes out. Here in a little bit I'm probably going to go live because I promise you I'm a lot better driver than what this is gonna show. And I do legitimately know how to shift. I just gotta figure out something to keep my chair from moving around. Like, you can hear it whenever, like you can feel it whenever you hit those little bumps right there, the little Yeah, this clutch is like really touchy in this car. This is the Pontiac Firebird. As I'm over here missing a hell out of gears and whatnot. Just gonna ride that clutch like it's a roller coaster. Cause that's what you do. Clutch wear isn't the thing. It probably sounds like it vibrates and moves around a lot and that's just cause it's metal on metal. Okay. It's, I'm gonna solve that problem with a little bit of foam. Yeah, I know I came in last place, but I don't really too much care. But, um, yeah, so that's the wheel and everything right there. <laughs> And then if anybody's curious, this is the chair that I use. It's the GT Player. It's a, it's listed as an office slash gaming chair. I got it on Amazon. But as you can tell, it's kind of like designed to hold you in place. It's kind of designed 
so that it hugs you and keeps you in place and it has reclining function and all that. And overall, it's really comfortable. But yeah, guys, that's just a basic video of my setup and what I have right now. So yeah, it definitely does work for those of you who are wanting to play the Gran Turismo 7 with the best experience. So, but this is the Logitech G29 slash G920 first impressions slash review, whatever you want to call this video. <laughs> Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day, and here in a little bit, I'm going to be going live.